In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to come up with endless content ideas. If you're new here, hi, I'm Louise. And here on this channel, I talk all about building an online business. So if you are doing that right now, make sure that you hit subscribe down below. So when we are building an online business, there is so much content that is required from us across all different platforms. And it can be really tricky sometimes to come up with enough ideas. So I think I have a few really great strategies for you that are going to make this process easier. But before we get into the strategies, I have to tell you about something very exciting, which is starting today, Monday, November 23rd, 2020. I am hosting a free 30 day challenge and I would love for you to join me. So what I'm doing is challenging myself to create 30 videos in 30 days and sharing them here on YouTube. But I don't just wanna do this alone, I want you to do it with me. So I've created a Facebook group as well as a worksheet with 30 days of content ideas so that you can join me in this challenge as well. Now it doesn't have to be YouTube videos. The idea is just to post one new piece of content every day for 30 days. It could be you posting an Instagram story or an Instagram post or a reel or a TikTok, whatever it is and whatever makes the most sense for your business. So you might be wondering why would I do this? It's a really great way to get in the flow of creating content and to get more comfortable with it. And you'll find that by committing to a 30 day challenge like this, you'll also get faster at creating content and it'll become easier for you. So that's one of the reasons. Also your platforms will see a huge boost if you commit to doing this daily. I've done it once before where I successfully did post 30 videos in 30 days and it really did jumpstart my channel a lot and helped us grow significantly this year. So that's the very first thing that you can do. If you are watching this YouTube video and you've missed the challenge, not to worry, you can still click the link in the description below and we're going to keep that worksheet available to you. So you can start this 30 day challenge at any time and take advantage of that worksheet with the 30 different ideas. Okay, the next place that you can find content ideas is in Facebook groups. So what you wanna do is find a group with a lot of people in your ideal audience. So for example, this group here I know is filled with online entrepreneurs. So that's a great place for me to look. So then all you need to do is come over here to the search bar and type in a keyword related to what you do. So for example, I teach on Squarespace. So I'm going to type in Squarespace and see what people are asking. And then what I would recommend you do is come over here and turn on most recent. So then you can scroll through and see what people are asking for. So for example, here's a question right here that I could potentially answer in one of my pieces of content. Does anyone have a Squarespace template they like for selling products? So this strategy is honestly going to give you a huge bank of ideas that you can use for content. Then what I'm doing is storing all of these in my favorite project management system, Asana. I have an ideas board where I put all of these potential ideas. The next place you can look is YouTube. So what you can do is find a channel that posts similar content to yours. So for example, this is my good friend Elise and she talks all about business and Instagram and has some really great videos. So what I can do is go to one of her videos and then scroll down and see if there are any questions in the comments. So for example, as you can see here, I love the idea of shopping for creators, but where do I find that option to set up? So any other questions that have come up that are related to the content that Elise has covered in her video, I could then go ahead and create a video on that. So yeah, I've found tons of video ideas this way. Next is going straight to Google, but before you do, you want to use this tool, Keywords Everywhere. It is fantastic and it's gonna let you know how many people are searching for a specific keyword. And it's really affordable too. You can start and buy some credits for just $10. So because I have this extension, it is a Google extension, which means it sits right up here. Then whenever I go into Google and let's say again, continuing with Squarespace, I type that into Google. Now I'm going to see what the most common searches are related to Squarespace. And it's gonna tell me exactly how many people are searching for that term every single month. So for example, Squarespace on its own gets 1 million searches per month, but then we have 
Squarespace versus WordPress, which would make a great video topic. And that gets 9,900 searches per month. So yeah, this is a really helpful tool. And I love that it's just on at all times. So even when I'm just going about my day and I'm typing in certain subjects that I want to look up, I can see all of this data right there. The next one is a really cool tool and it presents what are the most common questions that people are asking about your subject. So for example, I can come down here, type in a sauna, which is something else that I teach about. So I'm going to hit search and see what people are asking about this specific topic. So scroll down and as you can see, we have all these different questions related to Asana. So for example, why Asana is the best and why Asana is better than Trello. So these are actual questions that people are asking and great opportunities for you to create content and give them the answers they're looking for. Now, the last two ideas I wanted to share with you where I'm finding inspiration the most for content. The first one is Pinterest. So simply going to your home feed in Pinterest is awesome and it's going to give you a lot of different ideas. So I'll literally just come in here, go to the home feed, and then I'll scroll down and see what ideas this sparks for me. So for example, I might not wanna talk about planners necessarily, but I could touch on passive income and make a video about that. So yeah, this is a really great way. I think because it's so visual like this, it makes it easy to find content ideas and get inspired. And finally, the last place that I'm getting content inspiration from is Reels on Instagram. So when you go into Instagram, you can click on the play button bottom center of your screen, and this is going to open up Reels. And I'll literally just sit here, relax, scroll through, and it will definitely spark some ideas as well. Especially if you make sure that you are engaging with videos that are on topic for you so that are within your niche, make sure that you are engaging with those, liking those so that you are given more of that content thanks to the algorithm. Definitely do that and then you'll see all of these on topic videos and you can get inspired that way as well. All right guys, so those are my suggestions for coming up with endless content ideas. I hope that this video was helpful for you. Let us know in the comments your favorite ways of coming up with content ideas. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you soon with another video.